And as we began to reach out, there was just an overwhelming amount of support and desire to want to play uh, on this team this summer. And uh, I think that speaks to uh, the experience, uh, it speaks to what the Olympics mean and what it stands for. I think it speaks to the program and the success of the program. And even before our training camp, there'll be a lot of messaging back and forth. Um, we'll be sending guys things, you know, throughout the next couple of months, uh, just letting them know what this is about, sort of what our ideas are, um, how the FIBA game is different, uh, really getting everyone thinking about the team and thinking about the goal, even while they're pursuing other goals. We took great pride in, in sort of creating a moment for each guy, each player that was selected and um, and to do it discreetly and try to be stealth with it was uh, certainly um, maybe quite ambitious, maybe even delusional, but we were able to accomplish that and create special moments for each one of our guys. All of them were different. Um, you know, I, I we kind of tag teamed a bit. I did seven guys and, you know, we had the coaches do their respective players. And then I was supposed to to try to hit the Lakers too, but we just couldn't with the scheduling and, you know, everyone seasons was coming to an end and it was the logistics. The, the fact that we were able to execute that like was pretty incredible. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I remember the first one I, you know, had a chance to meet was Joel and, um, you know, we're, we're hiding in some room you know, at the stadium there in Philadelphia, they're playing, um, you know, and it's like we arrive at halftime and, you know, we're just like super under the radar. And um, he came in, his family was in there, they were in on it. Um, and I was able to surprise him and just, you know, see how happy he was. And then that night, Friday night, you know, I had to fly the next morning early to, to Minnesota. But that night, Steve Kerr, along with Chris Mullen, uh, were Chris Mullins, they were, they were presenting to, to Stephen Curry. Uh, the problem with Steph was that he likes to do like a 60 to 90 minute lift after a game. So uh, I get a, a FaceTime from Raymond Ritter at like 2.30 in the morning. And it's right before they're about to present to, to Steph in, um, in, 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 in Steve's office. And like, literally I'm asleep and I got to wake up and like in, in 10 seconds, I'm talking to Stefan and uh, I don't know what I said, but um, I remember just how excited he was and almost giddy in a way. And here's someone, you know, who's so accomplished and done so much uh, and has just been an incredible ambassador for the game and like, like a little kid excited for this moment. So um there were, there were so, I mean, we, we, you know, we surprised Drew Holiday at his house after, you know, their last game against the Wizards. And I'm in the house with his, uh, with his wife and his kids. And, you know, we have, you know, the, the social people capturing it. And like, he's coming in through the garage, through the laundry and bam, here I am with a jersey and a formal invitation. And so uh, all of them were, were different, but all of them were incredibly special. And hopefully, you know, they're, they're appreciative of, um, you know, being, you know, the gesture on our part, taking the effort to be there and show them how important they are to us. Um, just in terms of Tyrese, I mean, Tyrese, um, you know, just an incredible young man, his passing, his ability um, to get everybody involved. He's a connector, you know, and he's a guy that um, facilitates, you know, I think of and I hate to make comparisons and, you know, because they're never fair, but, you know, Jason Kidd in 2008, you know, he was able to have an impact just from getting everybody involved and passing. And, and we have a lot of scores. We have a lot of guys that can do some great things on offense and Tyrese's energy and his spirit was, was just incredible this summer. Uh, and so that we needed that, we needed that and we needed what he can bring for us offensively. Um, and so we're excited and, um, and, uh, but they, everybody is, is there for a reason and everybody brings something specific or multiple things that we feel, um, really, really translates on the FIBA stage.